friends. Here's your friendly announcer. I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. And what I'm about to say is could mean the world's disaster. Y'all know the rest. Could turn your joy and Laughter to tears and pain. Y'all know the rest of that song. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Y'all, I want to talk about something um, this morning. It's quite early. And um, I want to know how many of y'all feel me. As you see, I'm talking about America. We got supposedly, supposedly now, some of the most brilliant minds, some of the most affluent thinkers, and we have come to a crossroads that I believe in my mind and in my heart that the power players, the people, the Exxons and the Shells, the ones who really run America, they tired of this shit. And they want to take it, they want to make it like it was. That's what they want to do. They want to turn it back. 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 <laughs> when heroes wasn't sheroes, okay? And if y'all don't see the handwriting on the wall, it's worse than the handmaiden uh, tale shit. Because I want you to listen to the hypocrisy. And I, and when I first stepped on here, and over ten years ago, and we talked about narcissistic behavior, and um, somebody that I like to listen to, uh, a content creator, um. Linda Morano, you know, and she talks about it uh, because now it's such an overused phrase, but we were really um, coming into some awarenesses. And for me, what it made me see was hell. All y'all white folk have been damaged. All of y'all are flying monkeys. And the master um, narcissist is all the institutions. They serve as flying monkeys, and the country was set up by um, narcissists. And nobody wanted to deal with that. But I've been saying it for the last 10 years. I take it off of just as small or something as a relationship. I'm talking about... Our whole world is about to be damaged by narcissists. The colonizers are narcissists. Nobody but a bunch of crazy people would bring people over um, and even execute the ones that are already here to set up what they deem theirs. Don't you see that narcissistic behavior right there? How crazy that is for you to come as people already inhabiting the land. But you feel like you can come over there, kill, make a genocide on all of them. Take over their land. And relegate them to reservations. Control who people listen to. let tell black people, Malcolm X ain't your friend. Everybody that we ever had to wake us up. They wasn't our friends, even with white folk. There's a lot of people that learned, white folks that learned a lot when they listened to uh, Farrakhan or when they listened to Malcolm X. They did it in secret and they did it in silent. But a lot of them, they couldn't hate him because he was reaching a truth and told them a truth about themselves. 
that they didn't want to deal with. Because the only thing that's going to set us free as black people is the truth. And as white people, I, I don't, you know, I hate to say black and white because it's all a construct. It's all bullshit. Okay? That's why I really want to say, if you look at the people who are considered white, how can you blame them for feeling like they feel when they've been taught their whole entire life that they better than other people? What a fucking, what, what, what a way to set up a society. So now you got all these fragile, insecure, crazy narcissists who have been allowed to do things because of the color of their skin to other people and get away with it. Have government sanctioned lynchings, burnings. Um, you know, think about the Red Summer. Think about the nineteen from oh, think about from nineteen nineteen and nineteen twenty and twenty one. That was supposed to be the most race riots um on the planet. These were people that would they used to eat us. Okay? So Jeffrey Dahmer was just an extension of what they've done since we've been over here. And then they got the nerve to call us the problem. Got the nerve to talk about blacks. Look how narcissistic this is. And then you have the grand poopa. <laughs> That's what angers me so much when I see black people voting for him. I know what kind of slaves these are. These are the ones that say, boss, we sick. We sick, massa. That's who these people are. Because even John Brown and people that were Quakers and some of these people were like, this shit crazy. We ain't supposed to be doing this. Taking our children down to watch these killings. We're not supposed to be. I mean, I'm lynching people at the stake. All this type of crazy shit. Uh, lynching women because they have a period. What the fuck? Look at how crazy this society is. And in all of that, they're still good. And so we're supposed to be fighting for the good, not for these parasites that have, they supposed to be purged out by now. God has sent us all kinds of leaders that saw past colors and told, you know, when they marched. Some people say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So-and-so was elitist and all that. I, you know what? I get tired of these labels and these names. Once the lies stop, then the veil falls off. Okay. You have, I noticed that I hear a lot of people talking about, oh, he's a Mason, he's a, yeah, everybody I know, my age group that was pe preachers, uh, teachers, uh, uh, reverends, they Masons. My uncle was a Mason. I mean, I'm just saying, y'all, so my point is, that rob, that knowledge has been robbed as well, and I don't want to keep, I don't want to go from one thing to the next, Okay. I want to stay on task, and that is about this damn Donald Trump. You got a party that claims to be the party of family and life and all this, and you tell me what kind of woman you see in Melania Trump, who's never wants to be there with her husband, but she's just as diabolical as he is, okay? Don't get it wrong. She twisted the, this wannabe a, a swimsuit model that Donald Trump paid to put her ass on the front uh, a cover.